Just a minor correction to the uh, USSR turn. I forgot to add the $1 for Morocco. So that's uh, what we're going to add to their total. Okay, welcome to Japan, turn six. Japan has 74 IPCs to spend. They're going to spend that on six infantry for 18, four artillery for 16. They're going to buy a minor factory for 15, and they're going to buy some naval units. Remember, they get a discount, a uh, destroyer for seven, and three transports for six each for 18 total. All right, here's the attacks that they are declaring. They will be attacking the Russian tank in Shanghai with an infantry from Sikang and with a strategic bomber from Guangxi. Um, over here in Korea, one transport from the Philippines Sea Zone, Sea Zone 35, will come up to Sea Zone 6 and load up two infantry from Japan. And that attack will be supported with three um, fighters from Japan as well. Uh, in addition, there are some naval battles against the Americans. The submarine in Sea Zone 16 will be attacked with one destroyer and two fighters and a tactical bomber from one of the uh, carriers. Um, and then the destroyer in Sea Zone 25 will be attacked with uh, two uh, fighters and a tactical bomber from. Um, uh, sea zone or from the other carrier in the sea zone. Uh, in addition, this uh, destroyer in sea zone six will sail south to sea zone 33 and attack the destroyer and um, uh, submarine there, along with a fighter and a tactical bomber from this uh, carrier. The third TAC bomber from that carrier. Uh, along with attack bomber from Guangxi, will be attacking Sea Zone 43, the Dutch uh, naval elements there. Uh, and then um, way down in Sea Zone 42, the French uh, destroyer will be attacked with the uh, Japanese destroyer from Sea Zone 38. Uh, in addition, in the Sea Zone surrounding the Celebes, um, two. Uh, uh, cruisers and a battleship will attack uh, along with um, uh, some uh, uh, amphibious units. The uh, tank and the artillery from the Philippines will be loaded up. The um, ships will sail to Sea Zone 20, pick up two infantry from Kwangtung, and then sail to the Celebes and uh, um, do a... Um, a, a landing, uh, uh, an amphibious landing, uh, provided that obviously the sea zone gets cleared. Uh, okay, I think that is all of the actual attacks this round. So I'll set up some dice and we'll get started with some rolling. Okay, in the attack on Singhai, the Japanese are coming in with an infantry and a strategic bomber. I'm oh, sorry, that should be a four, not a three. to hit. So they will destroy the tank, but does the tank get the infantry? It does not. So uh, Japan takes the territory. Okay, for the attack on Korea, the uh, Japanese are coming in with a transport ship Bangkok Maru and two infantry at one, and then three fighter planes at three. All three fighter planes hit. Russians defend. Miss. So Japan takes the territory with no casualties. Okay, this is a naval battle in Sea Zone 44. The Japanese cruisers Haguro and Takao and the Japanese battleship Nagato will be attacking the. Um, Australian uh, transport HMAS Labuan and the Australian submarine HMAS Oxley. Now, what we will do before this battle starts is the submarine is going to submerge and take itself out of the battle, which means that the 
uh, transport is auto killed, uh, but the submarine will survive and stay in the sea zone. So um, the uh, amphibious assault will continue. Okay, now that the sea zone is effectively cleared, uh, the amphibious landing can take place. The um, Aikoku Maru is dropping off an infantry and an artillery, and the Hokoku Maru is dropping off an infantry and a tank. So we have a one, two twos, and a three. One hit. And so the Aussies defend with an infantry and an artillery do not get any hits. So the attack continues. Three hits. Only needed one. And the defense miss. So the Japanese take the territory with no casualties whatsoever. Okay, in the battle for sea zone 43, the uh, Dutch uh, destroyer, the HMNLS Piet Hein, is being attacked by uh, one tactical bomber from uh, the Kwangsi Air Base and one tactical bomber from the aircraft carrier Kaga. So it's two, th uh, two threes versus two. That's a hit. And that's a miss. So the Japanese clear the sea zone with no casualties. Okay, sea zone 42, with a bit of a coin flip situation here. The French destroyer Typhon is going up against the Japanese destroyer Ayanami. So two versus a two. That's a mess. The French. That's a mess. Japanese. That's a mess. French. Mess. Japanese. Miss. French, miss, Japanese, miss, French, miss, Japanese, miss, French, miss, wow, Japanese, miss, oh, I thought that was going to be a hit, French, whoops, miss, oh, Miss, French, hit. So after a long drawn out duel, the Japanese do not manage to clear the sea zone and the French kill the Japanese destroyer. Okay, in battle for sea zone 33, the Japanese destroyer Terazuki and a fighter and a tactical bomber from the carrier Kaga are going up against the American submarine, the SS-269 Rasher, and the American destroyer, the USS Meade. So that's a two, a three, and a four. One hit. Obviously, that'll be the sub. One and two. No hits. So the sub is killed. That's a hit. And the destroyer gets to shoot back. And no hits. So the sea zone is cleared at the cost of no Japanese casualties. Okay, battle for sea zone 16, the Japanese destroyer Fubuki, and two fighters and a tactical bomber from the Japanese carrier Shokaku are attacking the American submarine, the SS 306 Tang. So we have a two, two threes, and a four. One hit. Oh, the destroyer got him. Appropriate. Defense. Miss. So the sea zone is cleared. The Japanese suffer no casualties. Okay, battle for sea zone 25. Two fighters and attack bomber from the Japanese carrier Soryu are attacking the USS Jarvis destroyer. So that's two threes and a four. That's a hit. And Jarvis gets to fire back and misses. So the sea zone's cleared. The Japanese lose nothing. Okay, non-combat movement. The um, Strat Bomber in uh, Singhai is going to land in Sichuan. One infantry from Yunnan is going to move to Sichuan. 
four infantry and two anti-aircraft from uh, Kuang Si are going to move into Yunnan. Um, the infantry from French Indochina is going to move into Yunnan. Um, the infantry and artillery from Kuang Tung are going to move to Kuang Si. The artillery from Kiang Si is going to move to Kuang Si. The three uh, infantry from Kiang Si are going to be railed um, three spaces into Yunnan. Um, down here, uh, the one tack bomber uh, in the uh, C Zone 43 attack is going to land in Kuang Si. The other one's going to land back on the carrier in 35. Um, the two planes in 33 will also land back on the carrier in 35. Um, and then closer to home here, uh, the three fighters in Korea are going to land back in Japan. And uh, all of the uh, fighters involved in the C-Zone 16 and C-Zone 25 attacks will land back on their respective carriers. Uh, destroyer and... Um, uh, submarine will move from C-Zone 6 to C-Zone 5 and disrupt uh, the Russians' bonus. Uh, and I think that is all the movement. So I will tidy up the board and come back in a sec. Okay, uh, new units. The new factory is going to go into French Indochina. Uh, two new infantry are going to go into the military base in Kuang Si. Three new infantry are going to go into the factory in Kiang Su. Uh, and then the rest of the units will be built in Japan proper. Sorry, hold on. Um, so, one more infantry. Four more artillery, uh, one new destroyer, and three new transports. <laughs> okay, uh, in terms of money, we're gonna the Russians are gonna lose one in Korea. There are three IPCs. Uh, the Chinese are going to lose one in Singhai, and the Aussies are going to lose three in the Celebes. So that's three, six, seven in total uh, for the Japanese. So they go from 52 to 59. Russia goes down three from 33 to 30. Um, the Aussies go down three from 14 to 11. And the Chinese go down. Uh, they shouldn't have been at five, three, four. Uh, so they're at three now. Okay. Uh, so that should be that, I think. So in terms of the income, uh, the new Japanese income is 59 base, and they do get a five IPC bonus. Uh, because they control, they now, once again, now control all the money odds. However, uh, there is a convoy to be rolled, and I actually remembered this time. So, three, and that is the full, well, that's the most they can lose. So, they are going to lose three IPCs from this. So, instead of 50, uh, 64, they're going to have 61 IPCs for next Okay, the Americans and the Chinese are going to be up next, so there's the next video.